In this video, we are going to take a look on how to make the spiral tower structure which is 50 blocks high in total and it houses 45 ZP potential generators. Now, three of these towers in total will give you 2 million HP per second in nuclear tech mod. This build was inspired by End of Thai's Advanced World Edit build. I will link his videos down in the description. So, without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So, the main mods required for this build will be World Edit and Nuclear Tech mod. Now you will need some solid blocks but the main blocks we are going to focus on right now is the ZP potential generator, the top and the bottom part. So a little recap on ZPE or zero point energy potential generator. How this works is that you have a space in between the top and the bottom block and this difference generates power for you. So here I have placed a single block gap and then surrounded the entire area with solid blocks in this case glass and a single block will give you 300 HE per second. So if you increase the amount of gap there is between the top and the bottom blocks, so like for now we have three blocks and that will give us 900 HE per second. So each block will give us 15 HE per tick or 300 HE per second. Based on this calculation, we are going to have total 45 ZPE generators in a single tower and that tower will be 50 blocks high so each tower will give us 675,000 HE per second and total of three towers will give us 2 million HE per second. So that is the calculation with which this build was designed for and here I have marked three points in three different chunks just to show you that this entire tower actually fits in a single chunk. So start by placing the bottom part of the ZP potential generator leaving a one block gap. Because as you saw, we need to surround this entirely with solid blocks. So that's why it's important that you leave a one block gap between every other ZP generator. Now we have placed total 25 and it's time to place 20 more. So leaving the corners, just place down five like this. And with this, we have a grid of 45 ZP generators, the bottom part. And you will notice that within a chunk we have left like one block space and two block space on different sides but basically all of the generators are in a single chunk now you can change the base if you want to like or if you care if you want to keep it the way it is then be my guest for now i'm gonna go with concrete and once the base is set it's now time to cover this entire portion with cable so basically to extract power from all of these blocks we need to connect them with cables right so an easier method of doing this would be to select a region where we know cables are gonna be and replace all of the air with cables so for now the as you can see in the top tooltip the block id for cables is 1277 so i am going to replace air which is zero with cables which is 1277 by the way, block IDs can be enabled using F3 plus H. And now that we have filled all of the remaining gap, this is how the base part looks like. So this is the first level. We are going to have a tower which is 53 blocks high in total. And I will tell you the reason in a little while. But basically, the first level is the one with the generators. Then we are going to have total 25 more blocks on top of it. So what this will do is from the ground, we are total 26 high. So here I have total 25 blocks placed. And now when I place this block here, it will be the 27th block. So yeah, 27 or uh, 26 on the bottom side, 26 on the top side. And this middle block will give us total 53 blocks. So stand on top of this block which is 27 blocks high from the ground, select it on the first and the second and then outset this region by 26. So now if we check the size of the area that we have selected by typing in slash slash size, you will see that our region is exactly 53 by 53 by 53. So that is the exact size of the tower that we are going to make. Now that we have made the selection, it's now time to make the spirals first, then we will make the tower. So for spirals, using the generate command, we are going to basically make it around the center. It will be a hollow cylinder. 3515 is the block ID, which is black wool. 
Now first we add a rotate which is x comma z. The rotation will come around the y axis. So pi times y and here I have divided it by 13 because I want the spiral to go around the tower two times. If I wanted it to go around one time then I would have written y divided by 26. Now x minus is equals to 12 will offset it basically will distance the spiral from the center by 12 blocks and finally the equation of the cylinder which is x square plus z square is less than 3 square and as soon as you press enter here we have a beautiful spiral made of black wood so yeah without the chunk borders it actually looks pretty cool now in a similar fashion let's make a red spiral which is exactly 180 degrees rotated from this one so 3514 is the block id for red wool and this time right x plus is equals to 12 so that will offset it in the positive x or oh, sorry the negative x direction basically but now we have two spirals which are made of red wool and black wool and they look absolutely beautiful now break this block as we are going to raise the tower next so for the tower as i told you each of the zp generator needs to be surrounded completely corners included with solid blocks so i am going to fast forward this entire portion here but yeah basically don't leave the corners unattended otherwise you will have eight generators which are not generating any power and you will end up with 555 instead of 675,000 at cheaper second. Once made, it is going to look something like this. Now, just for the sake of uniformity, I'm even going to cover the bottom part like this. And for this, you can use any block, by the way. It's not necessary to use glass. You can use any solid block of your choice. Now, I'm also going to fill in the corners. Now, this is not really important, but it looks good. It kind of gives it that tower look and once the corners are filled it's now time to basically extend this entire tower total by 49 more blocks so it is 50 blocks high and for that we are going to make a selection of the entire region so here's our first selection and here comes our second selection so basically the distance between the bottom and the top generators is going to be 50 blocks in total. That's why we are going to extend this tower by 49 more. So step 49 and there goes our tower. So now that the gap is 50 blocks on the top side, all we need to do is place the top portion of the ZP potential generators. Now this will be like uh, a little bit painful because you don't have any blocks on the side to place these off but yeah and by the way i think that this build looks good in your ntm world you can make it as high as you want to the higher you go the more power you are gonna generate but yeah i based mine off because it gave a really nice number 675,000 at cheaper second and once all of the top generators are placed, you can leave it like this if you want to, or you can also cover it on the sides and in the middle. And if you want to match the level of the spirals, then you can even raise it or make a boundary by one block. So that is the reason I made the entire build 53 blocks high so that it can be divided into two equal parts, 26 on the top, 26 on the bottom with one middle block from where you can extend the entire region so that's one tower completely made and if we take a look at the power generation so extend a cable from any direction you want and place down an energy block and here you can see 675,000 at cheaper second so once all of the three towers are made i know the spacing could have been a little bit better but basically once all of the three towers are done and if you combine the power output of all three that will give you a total of 2 million HE per second. So that's pretty neat, at least in my opinion. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. By the way, here's the end, here's the video by End of Thai. If you want to check it out, he has a pretty awesome advanced world edit guide. I think you guys will like it, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out and stay safe.